use it. You've got to solve that problem. That's the, that's the core faucet which you need to break. So we actually ended up writing a new programming language which actually is far easier to learn and far faster to write in if you're an expert or not. And it means you can do amazing things with data within minutes. Ali from Cairns, thank you so much for coming on the show. No worries. So there's a lot of, a lot of talk and a lot of hype around, around data lately, and big data and using data. But what a lot of people can't do is actually correlate that data together. It's a really, really difficult thing to do. You've solved the problem, <laughs> right? Trying Completely to. Completely for everybody. But it wasn't all that easy to solve, which we talked about off camera. So yeah. tell us a little bit about Count, uh, and then we can get into how you sure. did it, not to bolt of how you did it. Uh, yeah, so Count, the whole vision of Count is to try and make data as accessible as possible to anyone who wants to, to use it. Um, and the way we're doing that is we're building a, a platform online which allows you to publish data. People who have data, be they a business or individual who wants to put out data for people to use, they can publish it in Count to, um, to grow the impact and immediately see how people can get value out of it. Yeah. So can people actually gather their data, or can you gather people's data and throw it at the system and it works it all out? Or actually how does Count help with, with the data? So I guess the, the problem we're trying to solve at the start is that if you, if you have a data set, if you're, for example, working with um, Tech Nation and Deal Room, who have data on the UK ecosystem of, yep. of um, startups, um, they have a data set which is immensely valuable, full of every founder, every company, every investor in the UK. They all make that available to everyone else to use. Um, and they, they do that, it's quite difficult. Either you give out a flat file, which mm -hmm. is very difficult to access, and it puts a lot of burden on the user to work out how to use it, or you make it sort of quite compressed into an image which has limited access. So they've used Count to put the data set out for everyone else to use in a way which is really accessible and easy. So they're using Count as a way to publish it and make it um, sort of valuable instantly for people. Yeah, interesting, because a while back Tech Nation did release their, their tech report or whatever it exactly. was. Exactly. Uh, yeah, because yeah. I, I got the leaflet and I, I, I went through it. But as you say, you can't dig in any further exactly. into the data. It's just what they printed on a piece of paper or what they, they happened to put on the website on, in the way of a, of a web page, that's all you have. Yeah, exactly. So they, that, that report, by the way, is awesome in the amount really of detail good. they go into. Yeah. But um, if you're trying to make that more relevant to you, like look at it, you know, take any chart they made in that report and make it sector specific, look at a particular funding stage or look at a different part of the UK, like Manchester or Liverpool or something mm. like that. You can't do that with a, with a static report. Yeah, of course. And if you, um, unless you're very technical, you probably can't pull the data off, off the website as an API and access it yourself. So Count lets you make that kind of content which they produced very much more relevant. You can dive, drill down to make it, um, get all those insights for you personally. Yeah. And it was quite difficult to do, I believe, yeah. right? Uh, it wasn't walking the park. You had to actually hit invent a new yeah. system, a new... Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, right. So the, the, the mission has been to always make data more accessible. Um, and actually, when we got into the problem quite, in quite a lot of detail, and we founded the company about three years ago, um, we realized that the core problem was that we're using the way people access data now, the few who can, they're using languages like Python or SQL, which mm. are tens of years old. Yeah. And they're very technical and they're built in a different computing age. So we've said we need to, the core problem here is the bottleneck that that kind of language creates, like the speed of writing mm. it, the number of people who can learn it, how fast you can get, it, to, get to use it. You've got to solve that problem. That's the, that's the core faucet which you need to break. So we actually ended up writing a new programming language which actually is far easier to learn and far faster to write in if you're an expert or not. And it means you can do amazing things with data within minutes. When you guys sat down to do that, right, <laughs> and, and you went, we, because you realize the bottleneck and, and, and those, you know, those types of languages, that they are, they are old, right? So when you said, well, we actually have to build something new here. Mm. Was that nerve wracking, that undertaking? Because that's massive, like to create. Yeah, I mean, we, um, we have some great investors uh, and they were very much on the journey with us here. We said, you know, when we did our seed round, we said, look, we, we don't know what the, the core solution is yet. We need to have this capital to, to work this problem through properly mm. and find that magic formula. And this, was our, this language is our third attempt. So this is our proper really? sort of third attempt to do it. And so at that point, it was, um, we had learned enough to know that was really the only solution you had to go for. Um, that other things sort of like more visual based ways or click based interfaces, which are sort of more common, I guess, mm. wasn't the actual solution you needed to free up data online. So we, we had to go for the language. And, and then it became a, just a question of heads down for a for 12 months or so. Yeah. Just, and it's not finished, right? The language will keep evolving, but it's the core of it is, is there. That brings us on to something else that, that's quite interesting, especially for the entrepreneurs watching. You're, you're you know, just launched, you're three years in, uh, and you had, you had seed investment. Is it, it seed's the only investment you've had so far? Pre-seed, yeah. yeah. You've had pre-seed, right? 
You did that before pre-launch, before you launched. Mm. What is it about getting investment at that stage? Because we even hear people saying it's quite difficult to get investment even when you do or you have a beta version or you, you, had it, you put it out to market and had some testing and you try and get seed funding and it can be a bit of a slog. You guys managed to do it before you even, actually before you even had anything, just they, put the, they put the faith in you that you could do it. Uh, yeah, we, we do. We have some great investors. We have great angels. We have, great, um, we have local globe as part of our, uh, as our main investor. Okay. Um, and we, we went to them with the vision, with the idea, and we sort of we articulate the problem. We could, you know, there's very easy to find statistics mm -hmm. about the lack of pop, the number of people in the population who can't actually use data properly. It's quite shocking. It's like four fifths of working adults can't analyze data themselves, which is not because they are able to, it's because they haven't had the, their job doesn't require them learning the skills. So yeah. that's a big opportunity. And despite data being this big, you know, big theme that we all know about, actually it's opportunity is nowhere, nowhere, nowhere close to being fulfilled. Mm. And we went with a solution. We went with some, you know, a really clear prototype, which was in its own right unique. Um, and we could, probably could have gone to market with it, but it wasn't enough of a solution. It would have been a certain size business and a certain size impact. Right. And it wasn't the one which we were going for, what we wanted to have as our trajectory. That's why we, we started again. Of course. What's the market size for you guys? Obviously, you've talked <laughs> about you know, part, partnering up with Tech Nation, but on, on, in the grand scheme of things, um, now that it's launched, what, who is your is it, is it government? Is it the likes of you know, government mm. partners like Tech Nation? Yeah, so I mean, what we're finding, which is, which is we need to work on quite closely, is actually we're getting interest from people who have data who are individuals, like bedroom coders who've managed to get some data sets on sport or on sort of um, volcanoes across the world, and they want to put it out there, and we obviously want to make sure they can serve them. But as you say, people like Tech Nation as well, who have like industry standard data, similarly have the same problem of like, how do I make this useful? How do I make sure the awareness of this data is available? And how do I provide it? And so we've actually got this quite big spectrum currently of interest, and we've got to work out where who we serve, serve first. Um, so that on the supply side, I think actually what's encouraging is there's a large range of people who have data. Like it's, it's the interest in data means there's a lot of it around, just currently very difficult to get your hands on. Of course. Um, from, a, from a demand side, people using, using it, that's what's really exciting is the, the language we've got, we've had that tested with hundreds of people and we know that people who aren't, we normally consider themselves to be data people, mm. can use it as well as people who are like SQL or Python experts. And that means we hope the market can grow out quite a lot. Yeah, of course. If, if someone wants to, do you have anything on the website now that, it, that it's launched that people can go in and have a look at the data yeah, sets? Yeah, yeah. So on? we're publishing data sets now weekly, every okay. few days, um, working with different providers. Um, so if you go to our Twitter feed, Count HQ, you'll, you'll find it there. Very cool. Look, thank you so much for coming in, Ollie. Really appreciate it. Right, well, no worries. Cheers. Cheers.